Hello, my name is Dr. Scott Dunning, and I'm the current president of the Association of Energy Engineers. I'm also the developer of the Energy Efficiency Practitioner Program. I wanted to give you just a little overview about the program if this is one you're considering. We developed the program to introduce people to the concepts of energy efficiency. So it's really designed for somebody who's just getting into the field or for also people that maybe have worked in the field, um, say in the electrical and mechan mechanical building operators or um, tradespeople that have been around the equipment but haven't really looked at how to best operate or um, upgrade equipment so that it's energy efficient. So we start off with kind of the basic theory we have a, a lot of exercises that we do throughout the course so to gain familiarity with how we might be able to change our daily operation of the equipment so that we can reduce energy consumption. So initially we look at building utilities. We'll take a look at uh, commercial and industrial electric bills, gas bills, etc. and look at the structure of those bills so we get an idea of maybe what's primary versus secondary service, what are power factor charges, what are some of the different cost structures that we have. Then we'll start looking at energy financial decisions. Um, we don't go into a lot of depth there uh, in terms of something that a controller would do, but we do look at simple payback so we can make the case with upper management when we want to change out a piece of equipment for something more energy efficient. Next, we get into some of the energy audit measures and instrumentation um, so that we can go and take the measurements necessary to make our case. For example, what are some of the types of measurements that we use? What is the recommended test equipment that we may use on site? And um, then we move into some specific users or loads of energy. We start with lighting and we break down lighting into the basics. Um, what do we mean by foot candles, lighting efficacy, what are the values, color rendering index or color temperature, and why are those important? And we look at different applications for lighting. We then move into heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, and we look at the types of measurements we do in HVAC systems. Again, looking at recommended test equipment and some of the operations and maintenance uh, procedures that can reduce our energy usage there. We cover a little on service water heating systems, in terms of usage reduction, heat recovery, etc. We look at insulation, and insulation from both the standpoint of building envelope to reduce infiltration, but also insulation on equipment for um, safety and reducing losses through heat transfer. And we get into some building automation systems. We know there are many out there, but we look at the basic uh, functionality and look at some of the ways that we can use our building automation system to reduce our energy consumption. And we get into motors, a lot of motors out there. We want to understand how to properly size them, um, what is an energy efficient motor, and why is it any different from anything else. Uh, what's the difference by going to a premium efficient motor? What are the pros and cons of rewinding motors? We look at the connected load to the motor, so we get into pumps and fans, look at the fan laws, and how by varying the speed of the motor, we can reduce energy consumption. And we finally end up with some of the maintenance and commissioning items. And so, um, what is proper maintenance? What are some of the tools we can use for doing maintenance? And commissioning. What is commissioning? Retro commissioning, etc and how does that affect energy usage. So, hope you consider the course. We'd love to see you at some of our, our programs. We also have the online version for those of you that don't have the freedom to go and leave your work site. So, look forward to seeing you in the future. Take care.